All right. Well, we just got over to Tom's house. Looks like he did some good work to the uh, front of this place over here. It's looking nice. I'm going to go inside see him. I got some new stuff to show you guys. I'm very excited to try it out. i just do an unboxing and quick overview of it before we really dive into things. And then I'll, I'll show the whole process of uh, the conversion and you'll, you'll get the hint. Alright, let's get out there. Let's go inside. Uh, I'll show you what's up. My drone here. And I also have a couple other treats from... DJI. Can anyone guess what this is? Fantastic. And uh, I am very excited to try this stuff out. I'm going to go ahead and unbox these. I'll give you a quick overview of what I think initially. Just of the products and of the feel compared to my typical FPV equipment. So bear with me. It's maybe a little bit longer than usual. Let's start with the camera over here. Now I have watched a bunch of videos. I've been hearing good things and I've been hearing bad. I am optimistic about this software. I'm actually very excited to install it. But right off the bat here, we have a camera. This is the VTX and it can also be used with this controller over here. Uh, DJI did the first digital video transmission uh, and it cuts out that staticky flashing look on the screen. Today we're going to have to come in here, we got these wires. This is going to plug into the DJI unit right on the back. And so. And then next up, I just need to solder these to my flight controller. And you should be ready to go after that. I'm interested to see what it's going to be like to use a DJI controller flying FPV. Those last. We have the controller. Alright. First feel coming from my Tyrannus controller, my QX7. And I'll tell you what, that controller to me is very wide. I really do like the interface, I like the menu. In fact, that's something you notice right off the bat, this does not have a screen to switch to your other RC models. Maybe that's another thing that they can add in the future. I have their smart controller. I'm just gonna get these two ones out so I can show you guys. I also have Marty coming by soon. So I have their smart controller. This thing is beautiful. One of my favorite pieces of technology right now. It makes flying so easy because I have a big bright screen. Again though, just like the old Mavic controller, you typically put your phone here. They took away the display here as well. And what I mean by that, if you look on this controller, you have an interface right here. And I can't see what the drone's doing on this, but I can control my interface. I can switch between drone models. So if you're trying to do that on this controller, I don't know how that would be possible. Now with FPV, I'm coming from the cinematic type background, photography, video. But right here, I, I love that DJI finally put in a stick that just moves up and down like that. I think the overall feel of this controller feels a lot better. It's more of that DJI comfortable feel to me, heavier, uh, more durable. Just it feels good. This one feels like a toy still, and you can hear it rattles a little bit. If you want to put other things in here, you can. Again, this is what FPV, FPV guys are currently using, and I don't know that everyone's going to want to switch over to this controller right away. I think DJI is doing a good job coming into the FPV marketplace, but they do have some work to do. So let me just go over controller how I think it feels now they did leave the gimbal controls on uh, it's kind of interesting maybe we could see something with this later on down the road maybe you can use this as a second controller mount the screen in the back and have a camera up that can use these controls but it's good to see that I could start and stop my motors switch my modes uh, I have I have the same control I do it's a much narrower shorter, shorter sticks uh, which will allow for some nice movement um, I doubt DJI really lets you open this thing up all the way to get inside and tune those controls like you can on this QX7. 
but you know what? It feels good right out of the box. I'm excited to try this. So there they are. They made these things look really weird. Now we do have the old ones. So comparison. And DJI came out with the OcuSync. And this was their this was their first thing right here. And this is a good system. You still get your analog video in here. You have HDMI cables. But this is uncomfortable and you put it on your head and you just feel the weight. It's just pulling your head down. There's nothing balancing it out in the back, so you can just really feel the pressure on the back of your neck and everything. I'm gonna show you another pair of goggles. These are my fat sharks. These are my preferred FPV goggles. And these are the most well-known name. I don't have anything crazy going on. These are my Attitude V4s. I know they recently just came out with the V5s. I would love to try those out. So I put these things on. I'm comfortable in here. Not too much weight and I feel the tension pulling back on my head. It really feels like these things are tight to my face and if I'm flying, no sunlight's getting in here. We're, we're good to go. No distractions. And I could adjust my settings in here if I need to. DJI was smart to do the diversity antennas, which means you're going to get connection in front of you. And if you fly your drone to the side of you or behind you, you're going to have other antennas that it can switch over to. And look at these little things, like little stumps. Very interesting the way this is. I think they're going to need a better case. I would, it's kind of annoying. I put one in right now, but you know, it's a lot faster and more efficient if the goggles could just be set up when you get to them. I don't even know how to turn them on to be honest. You might have to bear with me. I'm making all my mistakes in this video for you guys. Okay, so they did say I need to power it on. I'm a lucky guy. They hope this powers it on. Fits right in there. And they said that you have to you have to hang this somewhere. Let me let me show you something. I'm gonna stick it right in here. Uh, they definitely, 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 100% if this isn't going to stay in place. That needs to be figured out sooner than later. And I'll tell you why. Who wants to fly with a, a battery dangling from their goggles? Probably nobody. I don't have to worry about that in my Fat Shark system. As you can see, my battery slipped right into the strap there. So, EJI, if you need any ideas, maybe figure something like this out fix this up or if you're gonna seal the deal here maybe put a staple in there do something to secure it uh, it's gonna be annoying for people that are getting into this type of flying especially for DJI users who kind of have everything they're spoiled look at my controller everything's right here I don't need anything else I got everything on it this I need extra wires and if I want to use an analog system I need a ground station a little bit too much Especially when you're just getting into things. It might be a good learning lesson, but we're going to see how this works. But again, is that, a, is that a deal breaker? No, I don't, I don't know until I put the, put the goggles on my head. Alright, my first time trying these things on. Another cable. You could power this with a four cell battery, they were saying. Again, a wire though. I mean, I, it's nice that you include it. Why do I want to fly with a wire dangling? My hands are going to be down, I'm going to be flying. Stick it behind my back, but again, it's just an extra thing. This is simple. That's the wires making it really complex. Not the worst thing, especially when I fly. We'll kind of see how it is. Okay, first uh, impression off the bat. Great looking screen in here. Uh, very clear, very high definition. A lot better than their previous goggles. No image, no SD card in here. Um, we do have a brightness. So I'll get into this another time. Uh, just as far as overall feel goes, I'm going to unplug these. Uh, the first thing I notice is right down here by my nose. I'm getting some light leak. Other than that, I'm, I'm fine. Uh, but really the whole idea, maybe I'll just put something over here so it's all black. Um, Fat sharks fit my face really, really well, and even if I were to tighten these up, um, they're not going to fit perfect. And I think with that bright screen in front of you, though, is it going to be the biggest deal? Absolutely not. In fact, these feel pretty good on my head. 
And uh, another downside I will point out right away, big, big glare on the screen coming from that light. So there is some light leak coming on the sides over here. We're going to want to figure something out, maybe maybe some sort of an extension that they could put on the outside. You don't want those light leaks, you don't want those glares. In fact, I was confused for a bit because I thought I shut the goggles off, but they were seeing a glare back there. Whole system, I don't want anyone getting confused here. This is a revolution in technology. This is not here to replace an analog system. It's just showing you that new things are going to become possible in the future. This is one of them. I think DJ has some more work to do, but I am very optimistic about all these things here. I'm very excited to go out and try them, and I'm looking forward to seeing how much better the digital FPV signal is than the analog, because analog cuts out a lot on my micro drones. It's hard for me to fly, get the static. Just picture yourself running in a room with a strobe light. It's not fun. You never know what you're going to hit. You never know when something's going to come in front of you. When you're out there with branches or concrete or people, you're going to break your drone. You're going to hurt somebody. You're going to damage something. And having that breakup is not fun. I'm glad that someone's here with a solution. I know Fat Shark's coming out with something soon. I'm excited to see what they do. But again, for people coming from DJI, they are making this very easy for you and it would be more of a recommended system it's going to make fpv easier otherwise you're going to have to dive all the way into fpv and i think you should do that anyway you know when you get into the the drone stuff i mean i i sit here and i look at tom's drone I mean, he used to build these things way before they were even out uh it's the technology in the past 10 years alone the past five years the past four years three years i've been doing it it's been good Did a full review on all this stuff. Boom, 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 bang. Tom's first time. Ooh, seemed pretty comfortable. Not comfortable. That more comfortable than the last ones? Yeah. Not as heavy, for sure. I think it was a little Install. Is that correct, Mari? Yeah. And we are having some trouble connecting those wires, so let's go check in on Tom here. Desoldering some wires. We're in. Tom's gonna go outside and get a nice visual. You're in the Matrix setting or what? Show them that on beta flight, oh yeah. How many tries was that? That was full five tries? Five tries, we were putting in the wrong darn spot. There's not enough information on this thing yet. 